Hey there one, Spazzy Dragon here, aka Syndrams, and welcome to this very short uh, sort of um, questions or answers or tutorial called as you want it. And uh, today I'm going to show you a practical example of why I personally use um, reinforced cruise disruptors on non capital ships. This is something that a lot of people already pointed out uh, in some of my older videos where you would see my bomber or my fighter and it has a reinforced screw disruptor and some people would go like uh, I can't believe you're, you know, bigger doesn't mean better, or like refire and, you know, energy conservation. It's not the case. I, I assure you I know that it, you know, screw disruptors are not in that sense that, you know, the best screw disruptor is the most, you know, the most uh, cash worthy or whatever the call is, you know. Uh, I know. There's a, a very specific reason why I, may, I sometimes use these things on my bombers especially. And uh, today, thankfully, I finally have the footage um, to show you exactly what I mean. Uh, already, I'm going to tell you a big kudos to Chris O'Connor, who is a LSF agent, which made this video possible. And I'm going to quickly point out the overall gist about, you know, of what you're about to see. So I'm just going to put these videos back to back. And um, considering I'm using uh, the YouTube's editor, I cannot do a voiceover over it. So let, uh, let me quickly explain what is going on. So you have tr three of the main cruise disruptors these days. You have the train, the mosquito, and the reinforced. Uh, the mosquito has the shittiest range of them all. Uh, the projectile speed is really slow as well. And the good thing about this is the turn rate and the refire rate. It's a very fast cruise disruptor uh, in terms of refire. So if you're uh, someone who likes to use nuclear mines or screamers and you know you often get to fight people who use a lot of missiles such as torpedoes or whatever, you might want to go over the mosquito. So the crane, train cruise disruptor is um, a lot more practical in that sense. It has the same refire rate. It has a slightly better uh, projectile speed which means that when you're talking about firing them in a group fight the speed actually makes the turn radius a little bit bigger and it's a little bit harder to hit but at the same time the range is 3000 the projectile speed is a lot uh, faster and this is the usual in between now then you have the reinforced screw disruptor which um, not only takes up a little bit of cargo space you can see I, I can't I wouldn't be able to mount this because my cargo is full right now. Uh, it also uses a very big amount of uh, energy to fire, uh, you know, when compared to other uh, stuff. I mean, if you mount this on a light fighter and you start fly uh, firing this off, it's going to be pretty, pretty brutal. But this thing has 500 meters over the train cruise up here, and this is going to be important in the video that you're about to see, where I'm going to be using a reinforced cruise disruptor in order to avoid getting caught um, by a player. So this is basically why why I need uh, it. It is faster. It covers a lot uh, more ground more quicker. It has a bigger range. It means that when someone enters that range, you you can already start to disrupt them and uh, it, they would actually need to fly just a little bit closer than you and this is basically what is going to help me avoid getting caught. And that's pretty much it. Uh, again, a big thanks uh, uh, to that LSF agent, um, Chris O'Connor, for making the following footage possible and, you know, <laughs> better, better luck next time. The Guardian.
There we go. 